Hello and welcome to another video. So today's video I'm actually really excited because I'm doing something I haven't done in a very long while and that is I'm going to be unboxing a Rainbow High doll. So here recently my uh, channel content has been very Integrity Toys focused and I, I don't know I'm kind of just in my Integrity Toys era. I really love Integrity Toys. I've been having so much fun with them but I am not just like done with Rainbow High. I'm someone who enjoys Rainbow High, but I also like Integrity Toys. So I like the adult collector space as well as Playline. And I'm not done with Integrity Toys. I mean, the current releases of Rainbow High haven't necessarily spoken to me, um, but I put out a video, I believe earlier this year, where I talked about like where I plan to go with my Rainbow High collection. And I mentioned that there's a couple dolls that I'm still interested in obtaining so i've kind of been working on that in the background actually getting some of those dolls in just to like kind of complete my rainbow high collection for now at least or until rainbow high starts making new releases that interest me more but that's kind of where this doll falls kind of um let's just get into it actually so right here we have rainbow high's new friends line pinkly page this doll has been out for a while now again if I do any Rainbow High videos right now, they're all gonna be kind of dolls that have been previously released. But this is a doll that actually, I did not even have listed as one of the dolls that I really wanted to get my hands on. Um, but I am happy to have her. But the story with her is that my husband knows that um, I'm trying, like there's a couple of dolls I want to like really fill out my Rainbow High collection. And he knows that I was really interested in these two characters here, uh, Lilac Lane and Blue Brooks. He knew I wanted both of them. Um, and re uh, Walmart was having like a really good sale or something. I think it was Walmart. And these two are sold out completely. But he found Pinkly Page, so he decided to get me Pinkly Page. So I'm actually really happy to have her and actually getting to look at her. Originally, the reason I didn't want her is I was like, okay, I have enough pink dolls. I really don't need more pink dolls because if I show my collection, actually, I probably can buy this. Nice. Um, if I just show up there, like there's so many pink dolls. I was like, do I really need another pink doll? No, um, but I actually am really happy to have her. And I still do plan to get both of these eventually. I really want Lilac more than... She's at the top of my want list for Rainbow High right now. Like, I really want Lilac. But anyways, uh, yeah, so that is how I ended up with Pinkly Page. And I'm really happy to have her, even though I did not have her listed as, like, one of my uh, top dolls to finish, like, my Rainbow High collection. So let's just get into her. So I actually really do like the boxing here. Now, uh, my favorite packaging that they've done for Rainbow High is the original packaging with the doll and then the two outfits. Like, I love that packaging a lot. But I like this packaging because it really reminds me of the how Barbies looked when I was growing up. Um, they always had, like, this, like, full kind of window display. And in the background, it was, like, this whole cardboard giving, like, the fantasy of what the doll is. Whether it's, like, a shopping mall or a supermarket or, like, a bedroom for, like, babysitting or something. Um, so this is like, it seems to be like a mall or like a street market. It looks like she's outdoor, but it's like a little market stand and has her dog, a bunch of makeup and stuff like that. Maybe like a mall kiosk or something, but it's really cute. I like it a lot, but again, I unbox all of my rainbow highs. Um, I unbox all my dolls, so I won't be keeping this, but I do think it's cute. Up here we have Pinkly Page, then... She is a fashion design focus, which many of the Rainbow High dolls are. Down here you have the Rainbow High. Uh, nothing but a bunch of like, oh, this talks about like what it includes. And then on the back it says, no matter their differences, friends are forever at Rainbow High. And then the same thing in a bunch of different languages. Yeah, I think so. It looks a lot longer. Like the English blurb is like the shortest and the rest are a lot longer, but yeah. And then of course you have Rainbow High back here and then Blue and Lilac, love them so much. And then we have Pinkly down here with her dog. So let's just go ahead and unbox it. And I'll do this the way I used to do all my Rainbow High videos. Like I would just unbox it like live on camera because the unboxing is pretty quick. Um, I have not unboxed a Rainbow High doll in so long. Like it has been a really hot minute <laughs> and i'm actually really excited to do it i enjoy my rainbow high dolls 
Um, let me know down below if there's anybody like watching this video who like collects the adult like integrity toys or like in the coll adult collector space, but also play line. I see there's usually like a focus of one over the other, but I honestly enjoy both. Then we just slide her out the side. Okay, if we can. Oh, it's getting stuck on like the handle. Let me. There we go. Oh, something fell. Okay, we can just set that back there. We have her out, and I'm just gonna start cutting away. But yeah, it's been a while since I've unboxed the Rainbow High. What was the last Rainbow High doll I unboxed? I look at this. Um, I think the two pack Sunny was the last doll I unboxed. No, 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 no. It was the uh, fashion, the Runway Ruby. Like Runway Ruby, Runway Amaya right before that. So I still have some more of the Runway dolls even that I'm like kind of interested in, but I want the like single release characters more like Lilac. The ones that only had one doll versus like getting more of dolls that have had multiple releases. And actually I did obtain another doll that was actually on my YouTube list. Um, I did obtain a doll and I'm very happy to have it, but I don't, there's some things I have to do before that doll is ready for, uh, ooh, the hair crunch. Before that doll is ready for display or a full video, there's like pieces I need to do and things I need to do. So eventually her video will come out. I guess I just revealed it was a girl. I don't know if there was any boys on my uh, need to get list. Maybe Finn, but uh, I, I am excited to eventually do that. Feel free to guess down below who you think it might be. Um, it's no one from the new friends line, unfortunately. Are they like tacked? Oh, I hate that. I've just seen like, you know, the things that Rainbow High does, like tacking into the clothing and it leaving holes in it. I don't miss that. Okay, come on. Oh, that's right. They like tack the hair down too. I'm just so out of practice with Rainbow High. Also, this doll's hair in person is so pretty. I thought it would be pretty close to Priscilla's. Again, I know like each doll has its own kind of unique hair blend, but I thought her hair blend would be pretty close. It like pulled the plastic piece out with it. I thought hers was close to Priscilla's, but it's actually very different, which is cool. Okay, I do not want to cut any of the hair. All right, we have her out of the box. Um, her hair is really soft in the back, like it's nice, but there is a lot of gel in the front, like the hair crunch is back in full effect. So she will be getting a hair washing, but she is really cute. Um, I'm just gonna set her back here. She has like jelly heels. Let her chill there. Actually, that's probably a really bad idea because that box is gonna fall over and it's gonna hit all the integrity dolls and then I'm gonna have to pick up so many. All right, now let's get into all these accessories. Doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. But yeah, it. I'm enjoying, um, actually I'm, <laughs> I'm unboxing these dolls in part. I've kind of had her for a little bit, um, but I've been waiting to unbox her uh, for when like, you know, just like it felt like the right time to do it. But now I am actually kind of possibly, and by possibly definitely, uh, moving soon. So I have to like pack all of the dolls and I don't want to move with any like unboxed dolls. So I'm like unboxing what I have that I, is boxed so that I can then pack it up with the rest of the collection so it's all together and takes up less space in its box. And I can just throw away the box. Here we go, all of her accessories. Oh, the dog feels so interesting. I did not imagine it feeling like that. It's kind of like gummy. Um, there we go, the stand. And then we have her comb. All right, there we go. I will say I do enjoy the ease of unboxing uh, Rainbow High Doll versus Integrity Toy because, well, 
it's not that it's complicated with integrity toys but i try to be so delicate with it versus with rainbow high i can just kind of like manhandle my way through it like i'm not too worried about breaking anything all right and there we are she's unboxed i just dropped so many little plastic ties okay so now we can look at the doll. I'm gonna go ahead and build her stand here. Um, and something about the New Friends line, which I'm sure anyone watching this video already knows, but the Rainbow High New Friend line, um, they introduced three new body types. So each of the dolls had a new body type. Uh, Blue Brooks was shorter, Lilac was taller. And then Pinkly Paige here, she has a bit of a wider body, which is kind of hard to tell um, from really even me looking at her. Let me see, is there a doll that's like easy to see the outfit here? Let's go with Kim. So I have Kim Nguyen here. I don't know if you can really tell, but she has a bit of a wider body. There's been people online who do like side by side undress comparisons and stuff. And it's, it's, she does have a wider body, but I don't think it's like a big significant uh, change, honestly. Again, I can barely tell, but it is cool that they introduced different body types. Let's go ahead and put her on her stand. Her stand comes off a little more red in person than I think it should. Like she's a bit more pink, so I would have liked the stand to be a bit lighter in color, but it's not bad. Then we can look at all of her accessories. We have the eyeshadow palette, which is like this translucent pink, same color as the stand with the palette colors and then another lip gloss that we've seen from a lot of other Rainbow High dolls, but of course in the colors for Pinkly. Then she has her earrings, which I'm pretty sure these are the same ones Chanel Onyx has, but they're now in a pink uh, resin. And we have her comb, the same color as her stand. Um, and then what's unique to her is she has this little heart back backpack, it's a purse. A uh, heart purse that has like little gold divots on it, which is really cute. And it has a zipper and it's plastic and it does open. Then I guess I can put her makeup in there. Will it even fit? It'll probably stick out, right? Okay, update. The makeup does not fit. The lip gloss will for sure though. Will it? Okay, the lip gloss does fit, but it's like ever so slightly peeking out. But that's fine. Actually, it's kind of cute sticking out of it, so I'll leave it like that. Um, and then she comes with a dog, and we haven't seen a dog in Rainbow High since the um, Paris Hilton doll, and it's the exact same sculpt as Paris Hilton. This dog's name is Bubblegum, and it's kind of like a very rubbery feeling. Like, I thought it was gonna be like a typical hard plastic, but you can see it like bend. It, it just has like a rubbery feeling, which is really interesting. Um, I don't mind the dog, I think it's cute. Uh, it's like gummy feeling to the touch. You can see it has a little mist painting right there on the mouth, but I don't know, it's a cute thing. It's like, makes sense that they would reuse that sculpt since they haven't used it since, uh, since Paris Hilton. And then this tennis ball, which I really love. It has an RH on it and it is flocked and it has like the little white line around it. And this spot right here, it looks like it just missed flocking. You can kind of see it's a bit darker right there in the center. It look, it's just a little spot that missed flocking, but this is a really cute piece. Like I really do like that. And then her last accessory that we can look at is her ring light. So she has a selfie stick with a ring light and then her cell phone and in the cell phone, it's a photo of her and bubble gum taking, it looks like a video in the exact same location as the the box unboxing was in. I'm trying to get it not to glare, but, and it, you can like pivot it around. And also it looks like the phone does come out. Yeah, it does. So you could just slide it out. So that's nice. And her gold, her phone is gold with a little sparkle writing on it. And I think the last thing to go over is her glasses, which I put over here. And it is just these kind of like very, uh, what's the word, oval shaped uh, glasses that are slightly opaque and gold. 
So they're pretty cute glasses. Oh, and they actually have like little white like diamond shapes on the side that are painted white. Now let's get to the doll herself. Let me see if I can, okay. So here we have Pinkly Page. Um, not the most unique name, but I'm not like mad at it. Uh, she has a really pretty face. I'm not sure exactly whose face sculpt she has. Um, there's some really cool accounts on Instagram and stuff that do a good job like documenting all the different face sculpts uh, of Rainbow High. But I do like her face sculpt. I really like the lips and everything. She has these faded, almost gingery uh, eyebrows, which look really nice and goes well with like the ginger stripes she has in her hair. Then she has this incredible makeup. I love this makeup. It's like very graphic light pink liner with like a bronze shade underneath. And then she has this super pink, um, I guess shadow slash liner in a way. And it's got so much glitter. Like look at all of that. I, it's really pretty. It's not perfectly even on both sides, but it's not something you notice much either, but it's very pretty. I really, really like it. Then um, we can look at her hair blend where she has like, it looks like three different shades of pink. She has like this really dark kind of reddish pink. She has, which this color right here, I will say pretty much matches her stand perfectly. Then she has this kind of like gingery stripe and then she has what the base of it is, which is like this kind of pinky color mixed in with the red color. So it looks like three different colors. It's like a darker pink, or maybe it's just how they blend it in, but it looks like two different shades of pink, like this lighter, the darker, and then this kind of gingery color in there. It's a pretty cool blend, I like it. Um, I think, I don't know how I feel about the ginger. Maybe it'll look a bit better when it's not glued down, but some of the ginger looks a little odd to me. Um, and then we move on to her clothes, which I really love. This is probably my favorite thing about this doll was her outfit. She has these sparkly ruffled sleeves, which are attached. Um, this outfit is a two piece. Um, it is attached in the back, it's Velcro. Um, and it's got glitter on it and it, oh my gosh, that part's like not going how it's supposed to. There we go. Um, and it's on this kind of like satiny um, top with a little bow on it that is like uh, sewn down so that it doesn't like stick up which I do appreciate because it sits perfectly like this. And then you have the skirt, which is of the exact same material, and then has that uh, glittery tool in the front sewn down, and then like two little side pieces of this sparkly material. It's really pretty. Um, it's a little misshapen for how it was in the box, but I think it still looks really nice. And you could probably just like straighten it out a bit. But what I will say is they had this hand, you can even see the pink uh, thread right there still around her wrist that I'll have to get off um, sewn onto the side and it has two little fabric holes now where they sewn it in it's just one of those things that I don't think was necessary and again it's one of those things I've always complained about with Rainbow High it's just like it's not that necessary like you could have just had her hand posed there and if in the box it got disheveled and was like up or down or something I don't think it would have killed the doll I don't think it was necessary. But anyways, at least it's in an area that you're not really gonna see. If this fabric lays down correctly, it basically covers that area, but I still don't love it. Then we come down to her shoes, which are like these gummy translucent pink, and they're very rubbery. Like when you compare it to other Rainbow High shoes, they're very like uh, soft rubber in a way, kind of like the same material the dog's made out of almost. Not look wise, of course, but they kind of feel the same. Uh, but they are kind of cool. I like them. I don't know that they go with the rest of the outfit because the rest of this outfit is very much giving like girly, campy. And then this is giving like a little bit like Y2K childish, like reminding me of like the little gummy heels like uh, you used to see at like Dollar Tree and stuff for like the little dress up kits. But it's nice. And then she has the longer uh, manicured nails and they're in a super light pink. Um, again, I would probably like it more if it matched maybe her lip color or the outfit more, but it's still a really pretty pink. And that is basically Pinkly Page. I guess I'll go ahead and put on like all of her little accessories. Um, but next I need to do a, my, one of my old spa days where I wash and style the hair. Again, with uh, Integrity Toys, I typically keep the hair as it is, 
but I really enjoy with my Rainbow High Dolls to wash the hair, restyle it, or even if I just wash it to get the gel out and just leave it as is. Let's see if I can get the glasses on. And I don't actually, typically when I open a Rainbow High Doll, I already have like a hairstyle in mind. Is it? No, it's definitely this way because it goes over her nose like that. I typically have a hairstyle in mind already, but I don't have one for Pinkly yet. So I'll probably just see what happens as I, uh, I don't know, wash her hair out and then mess around with it, maybe style it a bit. I'm struggling. Okay, I got her glasses on. They're pretty cute. I don't love the shape. They give a bit kind of like buggy to me maybe, or I don't know, maybe not but I'm not in love with the shape of these glasses. Like I think Delilah had a cuter pair of glasses when it comes to glasses shape, uh, but we'll see. Maybe I'll keep her with the glasses, maybe not. I haven't decided yet, but, and we can also have her hold bubble gum, which these dogs of course are shaped weird, but they're meant to be held like this. So it makes it a little less weird, but like they're meant to be like held. They do not have bodies for just like standing like a typical dog would. But yeah, this is Pinkly Paige. So now I just need to go into her little spa day, get her hair washed and styled. Oh my gosh, there's so much glitter. Like I just wiped this off of my um, computer right below the camera. There's so much of it down here. Anyways, so spa day, clean up the glitter. And I then will be back for like my final showing of like how I plan to style her, uh, display her for the short time I'll have uh, my display up. And yeah, I guess that's about it. Okay, so I'm about to do the hair washing. Um, and I want to show this is the full body and I can definitely see a difference in the sizing around the hip area uh, compared to the other Rainbow High Dolls, but also something that I didn't know is she has like a defined collarbone. You can see it right there. I'm, I believe that's the collarbone, um, which is something other Rainbow High Dolls do not have. It's a really cool piece. I like, I like the detail and I just thought that was pretty cool. And I thought I'd point that out before I went and washed her hair. Okay, so here's Pinkly after I let her hair dry and then I brushed it out. It came out so nice. I really like it. Um, and I decided I want to give her bangs. Like I want to give her kind of like, uh, oh my gosh, that one curl is not going where I want it to. But I want to give her, um, whatever, we'll leave that hair there for now. I pulled the front row of her hair. You can see it right there forward because of how I was originally going to repart it so that I could pull from like this row forward, but honestly, it's it's got like buoyancy to it. I think it's fine. And I'm just gonna kind of like try cutting her bangs. I don't want it to be like a straight edge bang, like something like Kim Nguyen had. I want it to kind of be kind of like, I don't know, the bangs that are pretty popular now, like wispy bangs. Um, I'm gonna boil wash it first so that I can get her hair to like, sit down and then I'm gonna cut it and I'm gonna do kind of, I guess just follow like typical hair cutting, just like do the thing where they like twist it and then cut it and then just like keep shortening it little by little till it's where I want. Always start shorter, well start longer then get shorter. So I'm gonna do that off camera just because trying to film with boiling water is gonna be a mess, but I'm literally just gonna pull all of this hair back. And you can see I grabbed like hair all the way to the front row up to almost right where her ear was. And I did the same thing on both sides. So I'm just gonna pull all this hair back and just pour boiling water right here at the roots and let it run down her face. 
and then probably do some cutting and I'll come back like to show like my progress, but I'm gonna go do that off camera real quick. Okay, so the boil wash is finished and as you can see, the pieces are cut. Um, it's definitely a little longer than I'm planning to keep it, but it's better to start, have it too long than too short because you can't go anywhere after too short. Um, so then, as you can see, the hair separated and everything. And I then just took some plastic wrap around. I pinned it in the back just so like, I'm gonna let it dry like this. And I'm using this to just keep, you know, like kind of the shape so it stays like kind of close to the face. So it doesn't start lifting too much. And we'll see how it looks after it's finished drying. So now she's just gonna sit here like this. Also the hair, I mean, ignore the plastic wrap, but I feel like the bangs with like all these curls, it's kind of giving like anime character, which honestly I love. So yeah, I'll leave her here and we'll check back in once the bangs are dry. Okay, so a bit of a change. Um, I don't know when this video is coming out, so there may already be a video talking about how I have obviously transitioned, uh, like moved my collection, stuff like that. That's probably gonna come out before this video, but maybe not. I'm not sure like how I'm organizing everything, but literally in the middle of me filming this review, I ended up completely changing um, like my location of my stuff temporarily before I move again. Anyways, let's get back to the doll. So last we saw, I kind of like left her with the wrap on the face after boil watching her bangs. And then off screen, I took the, once the bangs were dry, I took them off and then I wanted to shape the bangs. I didn't want to do that in the video. I've never done it before. So like trying to get a good angle while also doing something I've never done before and like trying to keep it in frame, it would have been a mess. So I really didn't want to do that. So I did it off screen, but I will say I'm pretty happy with the result because here she is. I, okay, for my first time, I'm really proud of myself. I kind of achieved what I was going for. I really wanted that kind of like wispy bang and like, is it a little choppy? Yeah. Is it perfect? No, but I'm really happy with it, what, how it came out. And I think it's a huge upgrade from how she looked before to me um, personally, because I feel like she's kind of giving like magical girl in a way or like pink girly magical girl. Like the hairstyle is giving me anime, like so much, so much like, the big curls and waves and then like the bangs and then it's just like all pink and then like this huge little bow and all the like, what, glittery tool coming off. She's just giving me magical girl now, which I'm obsessed with, I love it. And I think she's really cute and I am so happy with her. Um, she's one of the few dolls I have on display. As you can see, I only have one other Rainbow High doll back there. So she's gonna be chilling with me for a while it seems. I love her so much she's so she's just so cute and uh it, it's really transformed my entire opinion on this doll again it's not that i didn't like this doll beforehand um she just wasn't on my list of like dolls that i really wanted to get my hands on but now that i have this transformation honestly she could be pretty high in my like ranking of rainbow high i mean look at her she's just so cute and then like, I like the eyes, the blue and the pink. I think they're originally Daria's eye color and I don't own a Daria. So like, this is my first doll I've owned with this eye color. It's really cute. Oh, she's just amazing. I really, really like her. She's amazing. So after this little transformation, I definitely think I could recommend this doll, especially every single Walmart, at least in my area, I'm in North Carolina. Every single Walmart I go into, has her for like $13, $14 at some places. Um, it's not really consistent with the pricing, but she's been on sale and they have multiple of her in stock everywhere. So if you've been thinking about it, I would definitely recommend going for her. Between like, she has some really unique, uh, it, she has some really unique accessories like the ring light. I think her purse is really cute. Oh no, I just played with it. Now it doesn't want to sit. Like she has a lot of cute um, accessories. And again, maybe you don't have to do the bangs thing, but I think after giving her bangs, it completely transforms the doll. She doesn't look like anybody else to me. She looks unique on her own. And I just really, really love this doll. And of course she has a little special spot for me because also my husband bought it for me, but yeah, she's absolutely amazing. So that is it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed uh, this video. And again, I'm sorry I didn't do the bangs on camera. I was really worried about how it was gonna go and how I was gonna be able to do it. So if I ever do it again, I'll be sure to do it on camera, but 
for her, I was like, there's no way. Like, it's my first time. And I don't know if any of you've like filmed yourselves like doing doll hair, but getting like the right angle and everything can be really stressful. At least it is for me. So sometimes I just like turn off the camera, I'll do it in my own space, take my time and do whatever like crazy method that I end up with doing, doing. But yeah, she's great. I love her. And yeah, that's the end of the video. I don't know. I'm just going to end up keep talking about her unless I wrap this up. So um, as always, I really appreciate a like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy my type of content. Um, down in the description below, you can find uh, my different links, like uh, the link to my Instagram, which is his.dolls on Instagram. Also, the links to me and my brother's podcast, which is called We're Literally Obsessed. It's here on YouTube and on Spotify. And yeah, I think that's all that I need to mention. I think so. So I uh, hope to see you on the next one. Bye.